Hi, so earlier we were talking about the universe in which mathematics operates. Now, I did an example, which I've been told is a poor example, uh, but really it was to construct a false universe for you, so you could see that the mathematics operated in a different way depending on the universe's nature. That little um, contrived universe that I made was insufficient to convince you, which um, seems disappointing, but that's the way it is. So let's have a look at something else. Let's have a look at Euclid's principles. Now, Euclid's principles were the basics of mathematics and geometry for centuries, and they were held to be universally true. And when you think about the world and the universe in which Euclid moved, they are true. But later, as we discovered other things about our world and um, invented flight, we found that this uh, shortest distance between two points, in fact, wasn't a straight line. Actually, it's a curve. This is why flights to New York go via Iceland, because that's the shortest distance. It's actually called a great circle. Any curved surface or spherical surface, the shortest distance between two points always follows a great circle, and it's always a curve. Now, another of uh, Euclid's principles that if you uh, stretch a straight line infinitely, and you have two of them that are parallel, they will in fact never meet. Well, on curved surfaces, they do meet. So, when Euclid came up with his principles, his view of the universe was as a flat universe, and Euclid's principles only work in a flat universe. In a curved universe, they don't work. So it's the same thing that I'm saying is that mathematics works in the universe to which it's applied. Now, if we take the proof of Pythagoras that I did in a previous um, video as well, then that's a fairly convincing proof, to be honest. But the assumption that isn't explored in that proof is that it's done in a flat universe. It holds true only as long as the universe is flat. When we have a curved universe, that proof is no longer true. These kind of things, what we consider as fundamental principles of mathematics, are not in themselves and, and of themselves true for all time. They're true for the universe in which we apply them, and those universal limitations have to be considered when you're trying to think outside of the box. Now, at least that's the way that I see it. And so when I constructed the false universe with the um, graduated cylinder with a hole in, the idea is to think outside of the box, to think that not everything is a perfectly true, that you should raise questions about the truth of something when considering what it operates in. What are the surrounding elements that you aren't discovering and how do they affect the truth of the statement that's being made? Anyway, I hope this expands and explains a bit more and thank you very much for watching.